This video is made possible by MyDIY.ie. Visit MyDIY.ie and use code NEXTGEAR10 for 10% off your next order. Oh, everything grumbles by. So I'm in the south of France. This is a Ford Mustang 5 liter V8 GT. This is the Carl and we're on a bit of a road trip. So I didn't want to sand for a couple of minutes just so you got the idea of the noise and the pantomime that goes with having a 5 litre V8 engine under the bonnet. The new looks look deadly. The power delivery is very good in low down torque area. So when I'm in second, third, really good. Get the fourth, fifth, that torque level drops off fairly fast. Out here on these beautifully flat roads, it is really well behaved. Very hard to drift this car. If you really want on these dry roads, you really have to work hard. Not designed for that, kind of. I know it has certain modes you can go into to kind of design it and make it happen, but not on these roads. But in here, it really does feel like a GT. Fuel tank doesn't say that. About 300 kilometers is all you're gonna get from the tank of fuel of this thing. But it does make a beautiful grumble sound as you're going along the road. Now again, I'm still only in third, so if I shift into fourth here, nearly 100 kilometers an hour, it's so well poised, even on these roads, I can easily just take these corners here and just go right through them with total confidence that I'm not gonna understeer or oversteer. Now, there is, of course, the EcoBoost Mustang, which is of a different level of things. That does change the conversation a little bit. You know, why are you buying a Mustang if you're not buying a 5-liter V8, really? This is the one to have, the GT. Unless you really like the look of Mustang and can't afford a GT one, then, of course, you could go EcoBoost. And convertible, which is here, we'll be driving that in a little while. There is snow still on the side of the road here, and we're right deep into the hills surrounding Nice and Monaco. Um, beautiful driving roads. Crap roads to get here, but beautiful driving roads. I like shifting down a gear. And then that happens. Now, much, there's no real torque band that comes at you when you do it, but the sound and the noise that comes on with it is really good. I do have modes, so I can flick into modes which are more friendly things you can change out of sport and you have racetrack mode as well which is also there drag strip mode uh drag strip snow and wet and then go back into normal if you really want to do all that's up to you uh, it does make it a little bit quieter inside the cabin when you do that we're just traveling through the town here um, and then i can go normal my mode sport plus and then we go into racetrack mode yep Oh, it's so nice. Another Mustang right behind me, keeping up as well. A convertible one. Nearly a sin to bring a convertible one to go this fast. This is the GT one, of course. Now we're in bullet all of a sudden. What do you think? Yes. He needs to be a Camaro, but I'm just going to assume he's a Camaro, right? And he's chasing me down. Ah, yes. Um, the French roads are absolutely beautiful things to go on. Gorgeous in all their respects. So... Oh man, the mountains here, it's like driving through Alps the whole time. It's like something you need a bit of Matt Monroe on now. Yeah. That kind of doing around the town. Sport Plus is the most comfortable one I've found so far. It does eat fuel and it does open that little flap that's inside the exhaust or whatever it is. Sometimes it feels like the, the noise is a little bit piped in. But to be honest with you, I don't care. I think it's kind of irrelevant. At this day and age, it doesn't really matter. This could be, in the words of Mad Max, the last of the V8s. Yeah, she's the last of the V8s, she's Zach's Nitro. <laughs> Please proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. I think we have to go back that way. We do, we missed a turn. Okay. 
I pulled over this cool petrol station. I don't even know what side of the road it's supposed to be on. Great. This. Okay. Now this has the same engine, but uh, is an automatic and convertible, which is why the sky is now the backdrop of this video. But it still has the power and the noise. I quite like the noise. The power is actually delivery slight, feels slightly differently in the um, in the automatic because it's deciding what gear to be in and what to do and how to do it. So, which one would I pick? Well, look for the full Americana experience. If you want to drive Americana cars and you feel like this is the kind of thing you want to do, an automatic convertible Mustang. It's got a lot of kudos, but if you want to drive the Bullet Mustang, the Mustang you're more familiar with, it's the GT, it's the hard top you kind of need. And Mustang have put out photographs and Geneva Motor Show stuff of another Bullet Mustang, which will Take be out summer later. Come around. It's like turning a ship sometimes though, isn't it? How, this is nowhere near the turn it said we missed. No, it's not. The sat mad. <laughs> and I do mean absolutely mad. It's got a split personality or something. Keep right now. Now I do find in the, in the sport mode that it's going blah, 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 blah. It's going through the gears the whole time. It's in seventh gear at the moment. How many gears has it got? Eight. Nine. It's got nine gears. Did I see a ten? 10, there's 10 oh, gears! Ten. That makes no sense, does it? Nope. <laughs> Why would you want 10 gears in a Mustang? <laughs> Why are you towing that you need 10 gears? God, farmers would love this, oh, yeah. wouldn't they? They get 10 gears, they can put their trailer on, and away they go. It's, the it's also got active lane keeping because it's doing that right now. So if I flip down. Ooh. <laughs> the automatic's much better, isn't it? It is. Oh. Why don't you tell me it's changed too soon? It's not telling me, it's just giving me power. It's just relentless boom. And you can actually feel that come on behind you, that kind of feeling of being punched in the back. I hesitate to say this, but the automatic might be better than the manual. Not feeling any scuttle shake so far. And it's not too breezy, even though I'm quite tall. There is spiky hair room here, no problem. That is really good, really crisp gear change. I like that. I like this, this is really good. And plus you're, you're involved in the whole, because uh, they can hear everything behind you, and the whole world and the birds singing and the trees rustling and the sound of, Dinosaurs being burnt every time I put my right foot down. I love it! You were sentenced short of being Julie Andrews. Yeah! The hills are alive with the sound of Mustang. <laughs> oh yeah, we're supposed to be slowing down, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> this is the dangerous bit. It kicks down, it does everything right here. I don't, I can't fault that gearbox. It's maintaining the gear perfectly for me. It's kicking down when I press the brake. Now we come into town. We slow right down. Take on a stately driving Miss Daisy style. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna believe you're Daisy in this. You're the Miss Daisy, I'm the driver. Oh, right. Driving Miss Daisy. We only doing about 19 miles an hour. I like to go under the speed limit. But speed limit's 35, yeah. I am really impressed by this car. There's a part of me that absolutely adores Americana, that big engine, that big block V8. 
I don't know, I, I have a yippee ki sort yes, of feel about the whole thing. Yes, there's kind of that oh, big American thing and it, it just pulls and you know it's never going to break down. You know it's never going to do anything. It's just going to eat fuel and drive as far as you want to drive. It's the American dream. It's this idea we have of driving down Route 66, but it's to bypass the Athlone that you're going to drive down this... this. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta experience it. It's nearly impossible to kind of sum it up. It's an experience rather than a car. It's not just buying into a few thousand euros worth of metal. There's a lifestyle that has to go with it. There's, there's the American feel, vibe, that burble. You will get attention everywhere you go. You won't be able to leave traffic lights without hearing that noise. Right now, here, south of France, somewhere outside of Nice, the sun is shining, it's Baltic, and yes, you put your foot down, the sun shines brighter. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this kind of video, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, click the like button. Um, you can check out those links down below. But until the next time, I will see you on the far side. This video is made possible by MyDIY.ie. Visit MyDIY.ie and use code NEXTGEAR10 for 10% off your next order.